Live from New York, it's theCUBE. Covering Big Data New York City 2016. Brought to you by headline sponsors, Cisco, IBM, NVIDIA, and our ecosystem sponsors. Now, here are your hosts, Dave Vellante and Jeff Frick. Welcome back to New York City, everybody. This is theCUBE. We are the worldwide leader in live tech coverage. Jeff Frick and I are pleased to have Amit Walia here. He's the Executive Vice President and Chief Product Officer at Informatica. Good to see you again. Good to be here. So, we had Ronan on earlier this morning and uh, talking about some of the themes that you discussed at Informatica World this year, sort of the evolution of data management, 1.0 being tied to applications, 2.0 we all know well, the data warehouse, and now this new sort of horizontal layer of data management across cloud and you know, hybrid and so forth. So maybe we could build on that, but first of all, tell us what's going on here at uh, Strata. I mean, Strata is big for us. You know, we've been here a couple of years. Last year we were here as well with you guys. I mean, it's great to see how it's evolved. 10 years of Hadoop, first of all, right? I mean, that, that's a big accomplishment. Uh, I think the one difference I see coming here so many years is that, and I think if you guys walk there is, you know, five, six years ago it was a very tech speak. You could see the denim and the sneakers and the t-shirts, polo shirts, and you do see now business because you know it's gone mainstream, Hadoop, big data is driving business value, it is now business is looking at it, and you can see by the folks that are coming here are looking for, hey, and the business speak is there. I think it's, it, it, to me it's a maturation of a technology and getting mainstream is what Strata has become, it's good. Well, and you know, the, the hoodies didn't get there alone, right? It required companies like Informatica and you know, big players like an IBM to come in and, and bring some adult supervision to this space. Mm -hmm. Would you agree? Oh yeah, no, I mean look, obviously any new technology starts in some ways, you know, it starts on its own, there is some groundswell and then needless to say, customers need some level of scalability, maturity, automation, and that's where software comes into play. So yes, of course, I mean, we, we, it's, it's, a, it's a joint effort uh, in this case. So talk about your, your vision. Let's build on that sort of evolution of data management. We talk about 3.0. What is 3.0 to you and where does it go from here? Yeah, so 3.0 for us, it's, I, I think it's, our vision is based on where we think customers want to go. I mean, we talk to customers across the globe, right? So to us, the fundamental difference is you articulated 1.0, 2.0, we know it's the app, and then the data warehousing. 3.0, in my mind, is the democratization of data. Where now, truly, data is driving decisions for companies. I mean, look, every company, whether they understand that or not, but if they do not leverage their data, if they do not democratize their data away from databases, applications, they're going to die. And if you look at, look at the world today, think, think of the world of cloud. When we do use cloud apps, what do we do? We rent those applications, they're not our applications. It's kind of like living in a rental house. What do you own in a rental house? Your couch, your chair. If we, what do companies own? The data in that rented you know, app. So data is the only asset we all have going forward. And companies that can connect the dots between the data they have, they're going to be the winners in the future. And you see, you know, we used to use the word born in the cloud. They're born with the data companies. I mean, what is Uber? What is Facebook? What is Amazon? They're born with the data, born right, in the right. cloud companies. When I talk to chief data officers and ask them, all right, what do you recommend? How do, how do you get started? These particular, you know, financial services and healthcare and public sector, mm -hmm. not a lot of C CDOs, but now as that role starts to move into, you know, more mainstream, they say, look, there's a couple things you have to do in, immediately in parallel. You got to form, you know, partnership with the line of business, uh, you, you have to develop new skill sets. Okay, that's a simultaneous thing, but they say there's, there's, a, there's something that you have to figure out with your data, and it's sequential. You have to start by understanding how you make money. Not how you make money with the data necessarily, but yeah. how the data can support your monetization strategies. And I think a lot of people early on in this big data meme made a mistake. How can I make money with data? And it's like, ooh, that's hard. Versus how can I support my, my agenda? And then the second step, was really, what are the sources of data? Where do I get the data? Is it internal, is it external? And then, the, then that gets to the really important part was, I got to be able to trust this data. Yep. There's a data quality issue, uh, there's, a, there's a governance and provenance issue. Mm -hmm. and, and that's, well I guess you really come in in, in two and three, right? Is that fair? I mean you touched a lot of good things. So yeah. I, I would say you're exactly right. Where big data got its hype cycle and it failed a couple of years ago where people were like doubting it because as you said, it was a technology solution. People said, oh, well, I'm going to play around with it. Mm. I'm going to put it in a box. And then suddenly people said, oh, it works. How can I scale it out? And it failed because it, it couldn't scale out because you, did a, you just cobbled something together and then of course it didn't have the governance. It did not even have the right business case behind it. 
That's changing now. It all has to start with some business value you're going to deliver, right? Are we solving marketing analytics, like right? cross-sell, upsell valuation? Are we solving fraud? What are we, so are we solving operational effectiveness? In a, think of a shop floor, be with BMW, where there's robots running around. You've got to understand that data. So to me, that's where now the industry is. And then work your way back, and then to your point, now how do you bring this all together? You've got to bring data from so many places. Make sure it has the right you know, quality metrics to it. It can be governed, it can be compliant, it can scale, and it's usable. And my belief is there are three principles where we are helping our customers with. First is consumerization. Big data was a technology speak, you need to consumerize it and make it easy for customers to consume. And I'll give you some examples of that. Second is, it has to be agile. It can, it's not necessarily just a big bang implementation or just an on-premise, on-premise, cloud, start small, but have the ability that it can scale. And the third one is, at the end of the day, it has to be at enterprise scale. I mean, governance, compliance, scalability, those are all enterprise features that look, they don't go out of fashion. Customers still need it. Right. And, and that's, those are the three attributes to me that are critical for success, and that's what we have been investing a lot. I mean, a great example of that is, for example, carrying this book today, is while we make infrastructure software, we make this data lake product, which we've been talking about here, where it is out of the box for the business analyst. All of the technology that we talk about is integrated. So our customers are not in the system integration business, they are in creating business value business, so now all that complexity has gone away. You can, out of the box, use a very simple, for the business analyst product that has Everything that we want to bring data from anywhere, high quality, full governance, ease of search, yet you don't feel the pain that it's a six month project or a one year project. Right. You know, there's a lot of companies that have been making money on data for a long time in an advanced level. You think of like CPG mm -hmm. companies that are very sophisticated in their analytics. I mean, banking is data, right? Data there's, there's no money, there's no branches anymore. I mean, it's basically numbers on a page and models. So for those types of companies that have a, a historical, um, precedent in playing in data and using data as a comp competitive advantage, how do you see that in them, in them changing and really grabbing onto this kind of next wave of data-based competitive advantage? I mean, the, uh, it, it's, it's, a, it's a very relevant question because I think when I look at our customer base, when I look at customers across the globe, I think I would say that 50% of the customers are still trying to grapple with what is this data economy. Mm. About another 30, 35%, I would say, have at least are very aware, and they are figuring it out as to what, how do they even play in the data economy. And, I, and I'm being very, obviously, uh, harsh, because everybody feels like they have a data initiative. Another 10% have, are well underway. They have at least thought through the business, critical business drivers on how, and how to pivot. And 5% or less probably have figured out in the right way. And, and a great example, if you take in banking, what is FinTech? And FinTech is disrupting banking. In which way? The banks own the customer, they have all the information on our customers and everything, but the banks have probably, where they're struggling, they have not given the new experience to their customers. They have, and all of that is nothing, it's not like they don't know the customer. Right, right. They just haven't thought through a new business model leveraging the same data. That consumerization it, piece. And, and, they, and they have the data, they, they the data. know everything it's about it. It's very the, obvious to yeah. them, like, you know, the millennial does not go into a branch. Right, they right. don't care for a branch. You know it. They're not even allowed. It's exactly. Not, it's not allowed. So now, checking are you in the 50% that have no idea you will not look at that data? Right. Or you're in the 5% that have looked at that data and are proactively working to reach out to the millennial. And, and I think there are customers who are aware, and there are customers who are still coming to grips with it. Right. Uh, there are two ends of the spectrum. And our job is to help educate our customers because we see the value, pro this spectrum, that to go to the 50% and say, look, this is what you can do. Otherwise, somebody will do disrupt it, you. Do it to you. So as the head of products at Informatica, how are these concepts getting into the products and, uh, and out to the market? Yeah, I mean, three fundamental things that we are innovating, I would say. One is, uh, and we are hyper-innovating in the context of cloud. Uh, we want to make cloud, obviously that's the agility part, right? Clouds make it easy for customers to write out of the box, get ready, start small, go big. So we are basically everything cloud, right? Uh, we are the leader in the cloud market. I mean, the we were the leader in the traditional market, started 10 years ago, and we are the market leader in the cloud IPaaS market today. So we, we were fortunate that, unlike a lot of companies, established leaders, we invested way before the curve. Second for us is consumerization. 
I, I personally believe enterprise software has to get easier and easier. No, we sell infrastructure software, but we are invested a lot in business-focused solutions. The data lake is a great example. We're talking about here at Strata. Our secured source solution for security is an out-of-the-box solution for a business user, a CISO, the true analyst, our data governance solution, so consumerization of the offering. Make it easy for use. And the third one to us is agility. Agility is real-time, all kinds of data. Real-time data, right? And making sure that it can be seamless, hybrid, right? You can be, you can run a workload here, and if you have some peak workload, you can flip it over to uh, AWS, or you can go to AWS and spin up a spin up Amazon, uh, our big data solution there, do some dev work there, bring it back. Right, so right. consumerization, cloud, agility, and those are the kind of spare things that we are working on in the data 3.0 world because we know we have to work with customers or business and IT batch and real time, cloud, and on-premise. And to me, by the way, big data is nothing else but big data started on-premise. Big data is, is going to cloud much faster as well. So when I say cloud and on-premise, we cover big data on both spectrums. Mm -hmm. right? So whether it's EMR, HD Insight, Cloud Era, Hortonworks, we, we think customers will go and do everything. Data is kind of the way you want it, and, um, and you're comfortable with putting the data in the cloud because you have a unique differentiation. Yeah. You're not as worried about some of the and other players. our job is to help that, our customers be comfortable, yeah. right? I mean, our job is to make it easier for them to feel comfortable to drive business value. We, mm -hmm. That's the data platform then, right? Wherever you are, whatever you are doing, the data platform guides you. So it doesn't matter. You can shut this app down and go here. You can move the data here. Because what, as I said, ultimately what do you own at the end of the day? <laughs> Your data. You own nothing else in the world of a cloud. You rent everything else. Only thing you own is data. You well, get the analyst down here. Data's it, it, gotta get on well, the balance sheet. And, I mean, it clearly. opens up a whole new discussion right. about data ca as capital, <laughs> data value, but unfortunately we don't have time. Sir, thank you very much, Amit, for coming on. My pleasure team. to be here, thank you very much. All right, great. Our, our pleasure. Keep right there, everybody. We'll be back with our next guest. We are wrapping up day two at Big Data NYC. We'll be right back. Thank you.